Are the new Powell flight decks the greatest skateboards ever? Check out this video to find out. All right guys, what's up? Today's a kind of a special day for me. I feel like I've been skating enough and getting my legs strong enough. I'm uh, stepping up to a size eight board. I know you guys are probably like, you idiot, you should have been doing this the whole time. I hit up uh, DeVille over at Powell and uh, he said like, yeah man, I could send you a board. So they sent me one of these awesome Powell flight decks. So I'm super hyped on this because it's super light. Like Brady, hold that. So I'll be able to skate a size eight board and it won't be super heavy. So I'm super psyched on it. So I'm gonna be able to set this up and check it out. And these boards are supposed to last a really long time. So I'm gonna skate this and see how long it lasts me. I'm betting it's probably gonna last me at least two or three months. Not mad at that. I'll try and get you one of these two, Brady. I bet you'll be able to skate it for like six months, man. That would last me the rest of my life, seriously. <laughs> The top layer of the board is carbon fiber. It's really, really, really strong. So there's all these videos online of people like running their boards over and doing all this neat stuff. So it should last me an incredibly long time. It's so weird that I used to not like brand new boards when I was younger. Yeah, last time I did skate a bigger board, I did notice certain things were easier, but I'm really into my flip tricks. And if I can't do them and win games of skate, Normally, I'll end up always changing the shape. So with this one, I think it's gonna be really easy for me to adjust because it's extra light. So I think it's gonna be an easy, smooth transition. Damn, the board is so thin, it actually pokes through. All right. Powell also sent me a cool sticker. And they also sent me some Powell wax. And uh, I got some mini logo bolts I'm gonna use. You know I had to support my boy Paul Rodriguez with the Venture High Hollows. These things are sick. They got like a Jordan print on them. Super hyped to skate these. What's up guys? Hi, <laughs> <laughs> I got a t How you doing? Hey. What's up man? What's up? How you doing? Hey, can I get a few board? Yeah, your board is pretty beat. Maybe I do have one. Go! This is one of Brady's first days back skating because you guys know my dad passed away. Yeah. I had to like really chill and like not skate as much. So me and Brady weren't able to skate and everyone's been asking in the comments, where's Brady, where's Brady? So I was like, all right Brady, time to address this. <laughs> Let everybody know. I'm still here. You know, Brady is good. It's just I had to take some time for myself and family, you know? So you guys better be nice to your moms and dads because you don't realize it, but without them, nothing in your life would be possible. There's a lot of kids out there who their, their parents don't want them and they, they're just in foster homes. I was in foster homes for a while because my parents, they, uh, they weren't able to stay together. Man, it made me so grateful for them. It made, it made me realize like how special your parents are and how good it is to like have a good family. But yeah, a lot of kids don't understand like your parents until they're gone or you're older and you move out. And then you realize, you're like, holy crap, like, I had it so easy, all I had to do is wake up and chill. And then when it's time to get a job and, you know, keep everything good, and your parents will try and warn you, you know, when you're being a little jerk, they'll be like, oh yeah, just wait until you're older and you gotta pay for your own bills. You gotta freaking go get your own place. You got your own kids. That's when, that's when you're gonna realize. <laughs> so you better be real nice to your parents because your parents can help you in your life your entire life. No matter what, you're not going to get along with everyone all the time. But your parents, if you're cool with them, they can really support you in your dreams and your passions and what you want to do with your life. A lot of kids don't realize that until they've already messed it all up. Got some size two sets of 51s. One of these is for Richie Rich, one of these is for me. Set these up real quick. Got some mini logo bearings. Bearing action in the middle where it can get crushed. So that black plastic part? Is in the middle now? It's metal, actually. Oh. It's a bearing spacer. They're very, very helpful. Damn, both my completes looking pretty fresh, I gotta say. All right, guys, so this is it. Completes all finished. Gonna ride it around, try and break it in. Look at that. Man. That's... A lot of people make fun of my black wheels. 
You like the bike wheels look cool, right? It looks good on that board with the green yeah. too and the black. Leave, leave it in the comments below what you guys think of black wheels. Alright guys, so I've been skating this Powell flight board for about a month. You guys just saw me run it over. The board didn't even touch the ground. That's how strong these things are. But uh, I'm going to do a little test. I'm going to re-grip it and keep skating it and see how much longer I can make it last. It still has really good pop. And it's perfect. So it's a little worn down, but it's not too bad. Got a tiny little chip on the nose, but I don't think that's really going to affect it too much. The way it's created is really, really awesome. It has a top layer of carbon fiber. And uh, yeah, I'm going to regrip it and see how much longer I can get it to go. Pretty excited to keep skating this board though. It's really light and super strong. Last night I was skating at Vans Park and I wanted to uh, try and ollie the nine stair, so I'm starting to try and skate bigger stairs again. But the grip was so slippery and messed up that I couldn't give it a shot. These boards really are awesome though. It's noticeably lighter, it's really, really thin. And uh, normally a skateboard lasts me anywhere from a week to two weeks. Normally too, the reason I have to switch a board is it starts to get kind of flexy, because I'm like, I weigh about 180. It's really cool too, because these boards are so stiff that doesn't really happen. It continues to keep its strength even like long into its life. So I'm curious to see if there is a point where it does start to bend too much for me. But we'll see. I'm really gonna push this board to its limit. I'm also going to make another video when it finally does die and let you guys know how long it lasts. But uh, normally I would have gone through three boards already, skating how long I've skated this one. I'm also really happy skating a size eight now too. I was skating a 775 for a while, cause that's what I used to skate back in the day. But uh, now that I'm up to an eight with bigger trucks, I gotta say a lot of stuff has opened up to me. I'm probably even down to go up to a bigger size, but I'll probably stick with this for at least like six months to a year. But uh, we'll just have to wait and see. But yeah, I really like the flight board a lot. It's really good. Well, there it is re-gripped. Now I'm gonna put the trucks back on. I gotta say, I'm really, really impressed with these boards. Um, I'm super psyched to keep skating it. And uh, I gotta say though, I'm kinda bummed because I was injured for some of it. But uh, I'm all good now. So I'm really gonna push this thing to its limits and start jumping off bigger stuff. But uh, yeah, big shout out to Powell on the awesome achievement of this thing. It's really, really good. It's really hard to break too. So anyone who has a problem breaking boards, I really recommend you give it a shot. AK, Big Hern the Filmer, Hern Escobedo, you board breaker you.
I gotta get you another one of these so that you don't go through them so fast. But uh, yeah, I'm super psyched on these. I think all you guys will be too. It is a little bit of a steep price tag, but I think it's worth it for the amount of money you'll be saving from not having to buy another board. But yeah, psyched. If you guys are impressed with the board so far, and you wanna buy one, there's a link in the description below. There's also a link to Powell's Instagram if you wanna follow them. And yeah, hopefully you guys liked the video. And uh, if you did, please like, comment, subscribe, turn on those post notifications, all that good stuff. And thank you guys for watching. There it is, brand new grip. Woo, hype. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. It really does help. Also, please subscribe to my channel if you like the type of content that I, that I post. I upload almost every day. And please turn on those post notifications so that you're notified when I post a video. Thanks, yo. Have a great day or night or whatever.